Thanks again for joining us. We have Leonard Fournette here ready to take your questions. If you can please use the raise hand function to uh, let us know that you have a question for him. We'll take the first question from Richard Graves with Sky Sparks Sports News. Hey Leonard, congratulations, world champions. Um, it's been a while since we saw you over here, but just talk us through what this night means to you and the journey you've been on this season. Oh uh, man, it means everything. You know, uh, from being cut uh, to going to my tri triple H throughout the season, and now I'm a world champion. You know, I'm I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be able to be about this organization, my teammates for welcoming me, uh, helping me become a better person, a better man. So I appreciate these guys. Take the next question from Jason Alex Fleming from the Fleming for the Sun. Mr. Ford, how are you, sir? I'm good. How you doing? Oh, man, I'm great. I've been watching you guys all week. Now, I, I stipulated that you guys needed about a buck fifty, almost 200 yards on the ground, and I was pretty damn close. Um, you had 200 carries less than what you had in Jacksonville, so you were fresh. Uh, what was your mentality tonight, knowing that this was probably your best chance at winning a Super Bowl ring, and how does it feel being a Super Bowl champion? Uh, Tom preached all week, you know, they're, they're 31st in the lead. And y'all have the carries, y'all have the catch too. Uh, their run defense wasn't that good. So, I, you know, I take pride in that, you know, knowing those those guys don't want to tackle. And, uh, you know, you know, sometimes you make a guy miss, but at the same time, punch him in the mouth and at the end of the game, they're not going to want to tackle. And that's exactly what happened. Take the next question from Joe Ellis with Sideline Sports. Congratulations, Leonard. Thank you. Great game tonight. So, you're welcome. What was the key for you running the ball against the Kansas City defense, which just stopped Buffalo, which was a high-powered offense uh, two weeks ago? Uh, I say it wasn't just me. You know, the line, the coaches took the time out, and we really went. We really went over there off the defense to go against and knowing their guys. You know, if some guys tackle low, some guys are uh, hit and miss, and uh, you just have to study film and understand who you're playing against, understand your opponent. Your opponent. Well, congratulations, man. Last thing before I go. So how did it feel to go from Jacksonville uh, to Tampa winning the Super Bowl? It's going from, like, worst Man, to first. Listen, I, I ain't got to say too much. Y'all know. We all know. I'm just blessed. So I'm going to leave it there. We will take the next question from Arthur Rodriguez from Yahoo Sports. Hey, Leonard. Congratulations. Uh, can you talk about Jacqueline Davison's role in your hiring? Say it again. Can you talk about Jacqueline Davison's role in your hiring for the Bucks? I, mean, I don't know what you're saying. I'm, I'm trying to see what you're saying. The Jacqueline Davison role in your hiring. Jacqueline Davidson. Who? I, I, listen, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know what you're saying. Arthur, if you don't mind, type you can type the question in the chat, and I can read it to him if you'd like. Sure. Yeah, I apologize. I just can't. I don't understand. That's no problem. Arthur, while you're type typing that question, I will go to the next person. Um, I will go with Jury Epstein with USA Today. Hey, Leonard. Um, obviously... Congratulations. Obviously, compared to the, the Chiefs who were in the Super Bowl last year, that you, you had a bit more of an inexperienced roster in terms of Super Bowl experience. How, how important has Tom been this week in terms of preparing you guys and kind of how important was he throughout the game, just in the huddle, keeping you guys focused and that kind of thing? I felt great, you know, uh, just knowing his resume and understand why he wins. You know, all week he made us, he made us believe he was going to win. He was texting us at 11 o'clock at night. We will win this game. And uh, we believed in him. You know, we believed in a. The, the play call and the, what the coaches was calling, and you know, we, we just ran with it. Tori? Hi, Leonard. Thanks for your time and congratulations. Yep. Appreciate I know it. that you've, spoke, you've spoken about playoff money throughout the last month, and people have asked about it. I mean, yet again, you were dominant in both the run and the pass catching game. What is it about the playoffs? And even though you want to be doing it all season, how good does it feel to be able to come through for your team at the most important moments? Uh, I felt good, you know. Uh, appreciate Coach B, Coach T Mac, and uh, Coach B A for keeping me fresh. You know, I'm 200 less carries than what I had, and uh, I'm just blessed. And 
I just thank uh, my teammates, uh, this organization, you know, for having me and uh, bringing me in. Next question will be from Greg Alman from The Athletic. Hey, Leonard, I just want to ask you about the confidence you guys have. This is three weeks in a row you've faced a team for the second time and just the confidence you had to go in expecting to win. Yeah, we know we, we know that offense is good, that defense is good, but you have to bring the fight to guys, you know, and that's what we did as a whole, not just the offense, but the defense, special teams, without their hitting and making plays. And um, I don't I don't know what more I can say, man. Uh, we came out, we fought our tails off, we came out with a W. For the next question, I'll go with Taylor Rhodes. Taylor, can you let us know your affiliation? Take them big ass glasses off, man. What you doing? I wish I could see Devin Taylor. White. He got, he got goggles on doing interviews. Hey there, this is TJ Holmes of Good Morning America. Young fella, congratulations on the win tonight. Uh, look, you all could have brought in a quarterback with a Super Bowl win and all kinds of ability. That's one thing, but talk about the difference it makes to have a guy with that aura. Um, Tom Brady step into your locker room. How important was that part just as important as his ability on the field to take you guys to new places? Uh, to have a guy like that next to me in the backfield, you know, he has a resume. He understands the game. He's practically he played against every defense they have you could throw at him, you know. And we understood, you know, the first time they beat us, what they threw at us, we wasn't really ready for it. But the second time, he was on point. You know, he was telling us what to expect. And he was telling us that they're not very good at tackling. Uh, they were 31st in tackling. Y'all have to catch us. Y'all have, have to run. And uh, we just believed that his game plan, we just ran with it. Let's take the last question from Jenna Lane with ESPN. Congratulations, Leonard. Um, What's up, my girl? You good? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Uh, I know that, that on offense, you know, the guys that Tom personally recruited, just like he personally recruited you, Gronk, AB, you guys all came through for him. What does it say about his belief in you guys? And, and not just that, but but you guys' connection, your relationship with him uh, that enabled you guys to come through today. Yeah, um, he, he has a certain eye for those players who, who he knows. You know, he, he He's better against me. He's better against uh, <laughs> AB too. So he just knows what we bring to the game and how, and how can we, and we can help him at the long run. That's what we did. You know, he kept faith in us throughout the whole season. Uh, you know, I'm just blessed to be be next to this man. You know, he's the GOAT. He is the greatest football player to ever play. You know, and I, I can tell my kids I play with that man. And I'm just blessed. Okay, we've got time for one more. We'll go with Luke Easterling with Bucks Wire. Leonard, congratulations, man. Thank you. Can you just, you know, if you go back to, you know, something I, I asked you earlier in the week about kind of encapsulating your whole football career as such a high level recruit and being such a high draft pick and being such a focal point in Jacksonville to to the process that brought you to Tampa Bay and then the run that you guys went on this season. What, what are the emotions? What are the feelings that come to mind when you reflect on that whole thing? Uh, it's crazy. You know, it's, it's a great story. I can tell my kids, you know, about keeping faith. Uh, staying focused, uh, uh, a whole bunch of things, but it was a tough year for me, you know. Uh, you know, as a as a competitor, you want to be out there, you want to compete, you want to play as hard as you can to help the team. You know, in some games, uh, I, I I didn't get a chance to help anyone, but in the long run, you know, playoff Lenny came alive, and man, I'm just blessed. I thank God, man, each and every day that the Bucks gave me a, a second opportunity to play football, a game that I love, and uh, just thankful. Thanks, Leonard. All right, thank you. Thanks, Leonard.